Take a trip back into Oregon's past with a visit to historic Oakland, located about 20 minutes north of Roseburg. The state's first historic district recognized by the National Register of Historic Places is made up of more than 60 homes, some dating back to 1855, including styles from early Victorian to classical revival. Oakland also features a charming downtown area with picturesque brick storefronts, many dating back to the 1890s. Oakland was established in 1851 when Dr. Dorsey Baker built the region's first grist mill and general store along the banks of Kalapuya Creek. The turbine which powered this early mill was manufactured in the east, shipped around Cape Horn to Scottsburg, then transported by wagon the rest of the distance. It can be seen today resting in Oakland's city park. Although Dr. Baker would later sell off his investments in Douglas County and move to Washington, E.G. Young, another important figure in the town's history, would acquire Baker's land and buildings, and Oakland would continue to prosper. By the late 1860s, the small town would see the addition of a store, a hotel, and its first school. Oakland would continue to grow until 1872, when the newly constructed Oregon and California Railroad elected to bypass the small community. Alonzo Brown, seeing the importance of the railroad's role in the town's future, purchased a number of land parcels around the ONC rail line and began to lay out plans for a new Oakland. Drawn by the increased commerce of the railroad, merchants literally began to move their businesses to the newly plotted Oakland. Utilizing rollers and skids, one by one, buildings were pulled by teams of draft animals to their new locations next to the railroad. The next 20 years would see continued prosperity with the addition of warehouses, hotels, shops, and stores, as well as a Wells Fargo and Company Express office. The addition of brick manufacturing in nearby Union Gap added more permanent commercial buildings to Oakland's downtown, some of which still remain along Locust Street today. Two major fires in the 1890s would devastate Oakland's commercial district, destroying many of the wooden structures downtown. Although many businesses would be replaced with newer, safer brick buildings, the town would suffer a lengthy period of economic stagnation. During the 1920s and 30s, turkey farming would become a major force in the local economy, and Oakland would grow to be the largest supplier of turkeys in the western United States. The small community would pull together all of its resources each December to host an annual turkey show, and it eventually became the world's largest event of its kind. The demands of World War II took its toll on the tiny town, and turkey farming gradually died out. After the war, logging would become the area's leading industry, with a number of small sawmills located close to Oakland. Although timber has remained a major force in the Douglas County economy to this day, the last major wood facility just west of Oakland closed its doors in 1963. Today, tourists enjoy this small historic community with its many antique stores, curio shops, restaurants, and art galleries. A couple of highlights include Tolly's Restaurant with its old-fashioned marble-top soda fountain, ice cream parlor, and candy counter. Right across the street is the Oakland Museum, featuring old photographs, period pieces, historic displays, and artifacts of Oakland throughout the decades. Although the downtown area is the major tourism draw, many of the district's historic homes are within easy walking distance and can be located using the Oakland Walking Tour pamphlet, which you'll find at the Roseburg Visitor Center, as well as several locations in Oakland.